Finally tonight, it's Good Deeds and an amazing young woman who turned her own struggles into a way of helping others. Hi, I'm Kaz and I'm the founder of Weeks for Heroes. We ensure that cancer patients can access affordable and stylish wigs. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 31. My world fell apart, literally within the moment. Chemotherapy was brutal. I lost all of my hair, all of my brows, all of my eyelashes. I lost it all. I was completely shocked at how expensive wigs were. I was told by my breast nurse what help the NHS could give me, and she literally pulled out these three Halloween rejects <laughs> from a box and said, this is the type of wig that we can help you with. I was mortified. My wig was such a lifeline for me. It wasn't a luxury item at all. It helped me get on with my day. There was a real lack of support. Would you rather spend 400 pounds on a wig or 400 pounds for your kids to eat? I immediately launched my own charity called Wigs for Heroes and started fundraising. I went on Instagram and I started connecting with other women um, who was going through similar situations. I made pamper bags to give out to patients on their first day of treatment so they would feel less alone and less scared about chemotherapy. Up to date, we've raised about £20,000 and we've partnered with Hair to Wear to be able to provide grants to people who can't afford wigs that make them feel like themselves. When we lose our hair, it's really important for us just to make you feel like you. If somebody comes in and we feel that they really meet the criteria that Kaz has written for Wigs of Heroes, then we will contact her and say, we think we've got the perfect person. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, I was 35. Wigs for Heroes helped me see there were other people going through what I was going through. And um, it makes it a less scary place to be. Instead of feeling sad <laughs> leaving the house, I actually felt, OK, I can do this. A wig kind of it was like my security blanket again. Cancer makes you feel awful. And if something as small as a wig can really brighten your day or make you feel as though you're not going to be stared at when you go to do your weekly shop, it makes such a difference. We launch our wig grants next year and we hope to help as many people as possible in getting their perfect wig. <laughs>